We're the Indie Project, B and Theo, and we've been living and travelling the world in vans for the past six years. We're currently renovating an abandoned stone barn in Portugal to turn into a beautiful tiny home for us and our cats, Gingy Bear and Fernando. Follow our journey from the very beginning as we document the whole process of creating an off-grid home. Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm currently sitting on our beautiful five acre homestead in central Portugal and I know what you're thinking by the title of this video you brought a village house and you're going to leave the farm and go back to a traditional home that definitely is not the case we have no desire to move to the village house or ever live in it we much prefer being in the remote hills the countryside on a farm with all of our animals I'm really excited for you guys to see the full tour of the village house that we purchased just under a year ago now in a beautiful town in central Portugal. So you're probably wondering why have we bought a village house when we're still working on the barn renovation here on our five acre homestead? Well, we always want to diversify and have a backup plan more than one source of income it's very dangerous just to have one source of income these days because anything can happen as we just saw with the pandemic basically we were traveling around the world in our self-converted sprinter van and we were super excited to ship the van over to canada but when the pandemic hit everything locked down and we couldn't leave but luckily we had this beautiful piece of property here in Portugal that we could come to throughout the pandemic and we could work on our barn and build a beautiful tiny home for ourselves. Don't worry, the barn renovation project is not gonna stop. I'm gonna carry on as normal. As I mentioned, we've actually owned this village house now for just under a year. And in my spare time, behind the scenes, I've been project managing the renovation of the house so we need to fit a new kitchen we need to fit a new bathroom and there's lots of painting to do but it has so much potential so when I saw this property advertised online I picked up the phone and called the agent straight away and I asked to see the property first before anybody else so she actually said I could see it in a couple of hours time I dropped everything I was doing we went to see the property and we brought it there and then it was a super quick easy process and we got an amazing deal so welcome to our old stone house in an ancient village i absolutely love this house the moment we stepped through the door and we first viewed it it just blew our socks off and you're going to understand why very soon there's a lot to show you we did we fell in love with it and it's all made out of stone completely these walls are granite they've been plastered over as you can tell but this house was actually built in 1937 the same year as my grandparents <laughs> and you can see already there's a little bit of damp but there's no problems in this house that aren't fixable. No, definitely not. And the first room we're gonna show you in is just here. Right, so if I just shut the front door and we come through into the first room and this room actually used to be a hairdresser. So this was a commercial unit and you can see these lovely doors with the glass panes above them. Yeah, I absolutely love the fact that this was a hairdresser's because there's also some leftover hairdresser paraphernalia, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you can even see the chairs amongst all of our junk that <laughs> is one day gonna go into the barn conversion. But you can see the chairs, the waiting area where people would have waited. There's the front doors here. This is where people would have come off the street to get their hair cut. And down here is the beginning of the really cool stuff that we inherited with this house because when we bought it, they left everything in it as well, which was just amazing. So we've got chests down here, old suitcases, and they're all full of linen and loads of treasures. Yeah, we, we asked the people who we bought it off to actually leave everything because we can reuse and recycle and upcycle stuff, which is quite exciting. Exactly, and I'm gonna show you in a really cool room now. It doesn't have any lighting, so we've set up a bright light in here. So prepare your eyes. <laughs> so this under here is a cupboard under the stairs. And then under here is a big, almost like a dungeon room. It's a big cold store. I wanted to point out this sink because obviously this used to be a hairdresser's, 
And you can see the size of the room, it's really decent and I can imagine all of the people lining up to get their hair cut back in the day in here. But we really think that this could be a really cool studio space. So if I spin around and we head into what I'm calling the dungeon room where a goblin lives. <laughs> If you're insinuating that that's me, you're incorrect. Uh, <laughs> there's some really cool hairdressing paraphernalia in here, like these old school clippers. clippers. I mean, look, look at, at that. that. That is so cool. And down here, there's a hairdressing chair, a wooden one, which is so cool. I actually think it's a commode because the bottom comes out. And why would the bottom of a chair come out otherwise? You know. I don't think it could be a commode. Like we're in like we're in a hairdresser's. Imagine we're in a hairdresser's. Toilets, why are you gonna go to the toilet where you get why are you getting your hair cut? What do you guys think? Look at this. The bottom of the chair lifts out. Lifts out. But what leads me to believe that it's a hairdresser's hair Hairs. chair. Hairdresser's chair is that a pole can go in the back of here. And then it can turn into like something that goes on top of your head. Yeah. Maybe with this device. I don't know what hairdressers you've been to, but so that's a bit worrying. But don't ask. I mean, I think commode here, I think it's hairdresser's chair. I have no idea, but either way, it's interesting. There's a gorgeous wooden chest here that was either full of sand or salt, I think, to keep the floor dry. Yeah, I think it's salt. I think so because there was some left in there. And what they do is they put it on the ground because obviously this would be quite a damp part of the house, a quite cold and wet and damp. And they'd use that to wick all of the damp up. I can actually see over here some salt underneath it. So it was salt. Okay, you're correct, it was salt. And then we've got a fantastic, massive barrel that you could fit in, but I'm not gonna get you to jump in there. This barrel is a beautiful, I mean, look at that. It's so dark and so aged. It's got these amazing metal straps. We are definitely gonna take this from the house and turn this into something on the land. But there's just, there's just stuff everywhere. There's just like tools everywhere. You can see here, there's tools. You can see over here, there's just full of like, I don't know, bottles Wine for bottles. storage. You've got this beautiful like I don't know what you call it an urn or something, something like that and then yeah you got like really old paints probably lead paints and all these different things you can see here actually if you oh, hold yeah. that for okay. us you ready there's some more hairdressing oh, clippers there's, more clippers. there's loads of clippers in here all the different things that you would oh, use. Oh, to sharpen the knife or something it must be but this is so cool that they left all of this stuff for us I hope that you are enjoying our Okay, <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, but one of the ghosts has started shouting at me, probably Aurora because she's become very vocal recently, but as I was saying, I hope that you are enjoying the tour of our very cute little village house. That place is full of inspiration and I can't wait to unleash the potential of it, but I wanted to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. Have you ever wanted your own website but just have no idea where to even start? Well, the place for you to go is Squarespace because it's built with the user in mind. You don't need to have any kind of web design experience at all to create a really lovely, completely unique website on Squarespace. The first step is to choose a theme that you like the look of. It takes so much hassle out of starting from scratch and you can completely customize that theme to you once you've chosen it by changing the colors, changing the layout, changing the text, putting your own stamp on your very own website. Squarespace has got a ton of really handy features on their platform to make your website the best it can possibly be. They've got a logo maker, custom URLs, and even email campaigns that I really enjoy using. If you're signed up to our newsletter, then you definitely will have seen what those emails look like. And the best thing is, if you wanna try out Squarespace, all you need to do is go to squarespace.com forward slash indie project, and we're giving you a two week free trial and then 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain using the code Indie Project. So what are you waiting for? Unleash that creativity and see where Squarespace can take you. So for orientation purposes, we are back in the entrance hallway and this is the hairdressing room that we just checked out. And if we walk up these really big, wide, grand wooden stairs. <laughs> the stairs are stunning and on the first floor, 
There's a really beautiful original double door that's got gorgeous glass above it as well. So again, the nice features of the house when it was first built. And they open up to a lovely room. And these doors really remind me of a manor house. And if we come through here, it's such a nice, really decent sized living room. This is the first of the many living rooms that are in this house. The chandelier that I always smack my head off every time I walk in here. <laughs> Look how low they are. If I walked under that, I'd have to do the limbo. <laughs> but you've got this nice table with all of these wooden chairs with really nice details and crocheted covers for the top because the woman who used to own this used to love knitting and doing crochet. And then over here, we've got a sofa bed. Now it can't be a Portuguese property without having <laughs> a sofa bed. And if I flip around, you'll see the size of this place. It really is a decent size and it's got these beautiful wooden beams, hasn't it? The ceilings are stunning in this place. The, the wood is so nice. It really adds like a cozy theme to it. And you might have spotted here, there's some vintage items, vintage electrical items. We've got a TV here. I'm sure we all remember having TVs like this. Look at the size of that. Like you think like nowadays you've got like 85 inch TVs. This is probably what, 12 inches? Probably. And then we've got a record player and a tape player. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm so happy we asked them to leave everything in this property because it just fills this place full of character instantly and there's so much that we can use, reuse and upscale. Obviously you got some nice light coming through the windows there, but here, this is really cool. This is a treasure trove, are you ready? Let me just flap the curtains. <laughs> what? It looks like a Punch and Judy show. <laughs> but if I go through here, look at that, they left so many cool items that we found in here. This is my favorite. A waffle iron. How cute is that? Look at that's definitely not an American sized waffle iron, is it? <laughs> it's tiny. But there's so many cool little trinkets that we're going to reuse and scatter around the house when we renovate it. Yeah, just absolutely everything is beautiful. Beautiful. This is literally a treasure trove. Right, let's show them to the master bedroom. Yes, the master bedroom through here. Right, you stick the light on yeah. and I'll come through. Ta-da! Oh, it's a bit flickery. There we go, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you've got these curtains that separate the doorway. There's no door here. It's just these curtains. And I actually really like it. Again, it's got the windows that just look beautiful. It's really nice little touch. The attention to detail in this house is really nice. And it's something that I think needs to be honored when we do do it up, I suppose is the best way of saying it. So you can see in here, Look at this, a beautiful, beautiful dresser, cupboard, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> wardrobe, it's a wardrobe. I love it, and look, I wish I had my phone on me and I could shine a torch behind here because this green glass glows. You can so, see it. Can you see my hand? Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> it's really gorgeous and this furniture is, we've never seen anywhere where you could get furniture like this in Portugal. This is original, really, really stunning stuff. And again, you've got the beautiful round wood ceilings. The bed, it's a big size double bed. <laughs> Down here, this is what they would have had back in the day. Look at that. Somewhere to go to the toilet. I don't know what you'd call this. What chamber you... pot. Chamber pot. So we have ourselves a used chamber pot, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but I love all these like little wooden bedside cabinets down here. If we lift this off, look at this chest. It's so stunning, isn't Absolutely it? Absolutely stunning. And that's full of linen and different throws and covers. And the thing I love about this room is you have the open staircase going up to the next floor. You've got loads of hooks here. It's just a really nice vibe in this room. It really is. And then I don't know if you've spotted in the corner there, but because the bathroom's quite far away, they have a little area in the corner of the room where they can use to kind of wash themselves before bed or in the morning. It's, it's a pretty wash cool. Station. Really cute. There's a little shrine over there. I definitely want to take the oil lamps for the barn, 100% think that they need to be part of the barn. And we haven't mentioned the floor. I know, I was just going to say, throughout the whole property are these beautiful wooden floors that need 
and nothing doing to them. Okay, so I'm leaving the master bedroom and walking through living room number one that we've just checked out, through these double doors, and then we go up another winding staircase up to the second floor. Welcome to the second floor, which is full of even more treasures. So if we go left, you can see there's a short walk and then we enter the second living room, which is also a really decent size. One of the things we need to get rid of straight away is this horrible fluorescent strip light, but you've got lots of natural light flooding this room and this really nice slanted ceiling that gives it a really cozy feeling, doesn't it? It does. Like I said, the wood just makes it feel really nice. And look at all this furniture that came with it as well. Beautiful table and chairs, an absolutely stunning rug, and then another bedroom off through the side. Before we go and check out the other bedroom off the side, if you look in every single cupboard or drawer, there's just stuff. So in here, we've got loads of cutlery, and you don't know what you're gonna find in here. Could be anything, but it's just crazy. I just love it, like this view here just looks amazing because you got the whole living room here, you've got a bedroom off there, and another corridor that goes to another bedroom that we'll be checking out in a minute. So this bedroom also has some of the same features that the master bedroom has, which is a bed, obviously, and a little washroom, so cute. It really is, so yeah, you can see the washroom down there with some <laughs> nice flowers. They even left us some soap. They must know that we're quite smelly human beings <laughs> living off grid. So over here as well, there's some more original, um, what do you call it, furniture. And these hooks again, that were the same in the master bedroom. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? And yeah. I just, I actually really like this. Like, <laughs> we definitely will be getting rid of it. But I just like how they haven't got doors and they've, they've just created this really flowy atmosphere and all these nice wooden decorations. And this right here is the light switch. So if I press this, the light will go off, so you can turn it off while you're in bed, which is really cool. That's a dream. Isn't that a dream? Not <laughs> having to get out of bed to turn the light off. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's carry on down the hallway and see what we can find. Upstairs here also has beautiful floors as well. Yeah, the floors are just gorgeous throughout. Really nice wooden floors. So we've got another bedroom here. It doesn't have a door. It's got some cloth again. <laughs> But this one's got a really unique feature that I've never seen before. I mean, I haven't been in many Portuguese houses anyway, but above it, it's got a traditional skylight. And we'll show you how that works shortly. Yeah, so this is actually a glass skylight, which is crazy because there's no windows in this bedroom. No, so, not. And it's also got the same little wooden hooks that were in the master bedroom as well. And a really cute lamp, absolutely love this. Yeah, again, there's not much we really need to do. It needs modernizing. It needs some stuff doing to it, but you've got some really cool like carpet there and then a nice little wooden chest in the corner there. And I know we keep going on about it, but look at the floors. The floors are just gorgeous. They are really, really beautiful. So leaving the third bedroom, we move on to one of our favorite rooms of the house. It is very unique, this room. Firstly, it's got a really ridiculously high ceiling. I mean, look at that. It goes all the way up there and you've got this magnificent chimney. Yeah, so this is where all of the heating for the house goes. They have a massive fire in here and it's quite surprising. You'd think that that wouldn't really do much and I'm, I'm talking as if we'd had a fire and we haven't, but I imagine it would heat up the top floor of the house really nice. And you've got all these really nice shelves. You've got a lamp here that lights and displays them. We've got a gas cooker down here. A little vintage one, it's very, very cute. I've not used it, but we did have some guests stay last week and they did do all their cooking on it, so it worked perfectly fine, which is great. And also, before I say anything else, everything in here came with the house. I know we keep saying it, but it's mad. We got a cooker with the house, we even got a coffee machine. I don't even own a coffee machine. <laughs> That's crazy, coffee machine. We got things like this, cork this is- sauce. A cork footstool. This actually would have been used for something, but we can't work out what it is. It's I got, think it was just a footstool. It's got holes all the way through it though. Seems odd. If we have any Portuguese viewers watching, please let us know what you think that is. Exactly. And then, if I go here and stand by the fire, you've got a staircase that goes up here 
to kind of creepy looking door. <laughs> Behind this creepy door is actually our attic with some really cool things inside it. Including me and this really cool invention. So remember the third bedroom that we showed you downstairs and the skylight that it had? This is the tunnel that brings light through two clear tiles down there into that room and I think that is absolutely genius. And the great thing about this property and when we came to look at it is it's got concrete beams as you can see and all the tiles are in really good condition yeah. so the roof is excellent. The roof is great. It definitely doesn't need a new roof which no. would be a major part <laughs> of the project as we know. And then if I turn left there's this partition wall which has all the original like battens and wood shavings that they would have lime plastered onto and there's still a little bit of the lime plaster left which is pretty cool. That is cool. And there's all sorts of things up here isn't there? Mm -hmm. So down here we have, I don't know what is this, it's like a scales? Yeah weighing scales. Weighing scales for like measuring things, maybe they're produce, maybe they were a drug dealer, <laughs> I don't know. But you got all the old, old weights there which is cool. And oh, I just spotted this, got to show them this. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this guys. This is a proper old school iron. So apparently you would have put the coals in there and you could have done your ironing. And then there's just all sorts of stuff up here. A massive space to store stuff. You've got like a really old grinding stone on some wooden legs down there. We've got this here that we can't really work out what it is, but if I take this out, put it down there, this looks like it would go in there. If you know in the comments, let us know because I don't know what this would have been used for, but under here as well is also some cool stuff. Ooh. Look at that, hidden treasure <laughs> everywhere you look. So leaving the attic and walking down this staircase, we now can move into the kitchen area. Welcome to the kitchen part two. Yes, the kitchen is over two rooms. I absolutely love this little swinging window door thing and I wonder what it was used for, maybe to like hand your food through. Even though the cook was in the other room. I don't know. Anyway, let's go and check out what the kitchen is saying. So the kitchen, it's actually pretty spacious, isn't it? Like it's a nice sized room and we did inherit the old fridge with it as well and all of the paraphernalia up here except for, for this, this was for our guests. So we did mention that we've had guests stay. It did um, and we definitely have had guests stay because <laughs> this wasn't here before they arrived. <laughs> this is wine <laughs> that exploded all over the wall yes. and you can see some markings on the wall there. Definitely needs a lick of paint yeah, but we love the floors, the floors yeah. are in really good condition. The tiles on the floor are really lovely and we got a washing machine and a boiler so that our guests can have hot showers when they're here and also so they can wash their clothes and we can wash towels and stuff after they've left because there's no, I don't know if you've ever been to Portugal if you're watching this video, but in a lot of the villages or none that I've ever been to, there's no laundrettes or anything like that, you've got to wash your stuff yourself. So this is a really good idea and I think that our guests really appreciate this. And yet again, we've got lovely wooden ceilings, a nice glass skylight up there and let's check out the fridge because the previous owners actually left this fridge which is amazing and saved us at least a couple of hundred euros. And let's see what our guests who have just left, have left us. There's actually a little salad in there, some potatoes. Oh, Poco special, thank you very much. We'll have this for our dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they've just left, but they really enjoyed their stay here, which is very positive. And we have electricity throughout the house, which is great. We also have running water, so they're both mains. But what isn't mains, and what you won't find mains in many old houses, is the gas. So the, this gas does the hot water. Exactly, just we that. installed this boiler just before our guests arrived so that they could have hot baths, hot showers and hot water down here in the kitchen and it's super simple, it just goes straight to a gas bottle that usually sits in there but this is going to be a whole new, brand new kitchen when we get around to renovating this place it's going to look gorgeous, there's so much potential and I'm sure a lot of you eagle-eyed viewers have already spotted down here We've got some tiles and some different things for the bathroom project. 
welcome to the bathroom and you might be able to hear the village bells in the background which is a nice touch because we are right in the center of the village and we've got the nice tiles down here which is great and this bathroom is actually in really good condition it is it's got a bidet a toilet a sink a shower and a bath all the things that you would expect in a bathroom but we really want to modernize and update this place so the bathroom is the first room that we're going to be doing with that with and oh let me tell you me and theo have got some really good visions you are not going to believe what it looks like trust we, me yeah we can't wait to show you the transformation and if i just come over here you'll be able to see the bath, which is a nice size bath with tiling all around it. But as you can see here, the tiling is just very dated really. I mean, everything's just a little bit dated in this property and some stuff works really nicely, but other stuff just doesn't. And you can see the B-Day down here. You have to have this in every Portuguese property. We've got the toilet which is in good condition apart from this. This is a horrible colour, it's aged plastic which never looks good so we need to do something with that definitely. Exactly and then up here we have a nice little opening prism window <laughs> which is good and then let's show you what's the other side of this wall. So this right here is the back door that leads to our cute little courtyard, look at this. This is the final area of the house and it's got a traditional little washing thing. I suppose we could have just made our guests wash with this to be fair, to wash their clothes in. <laughs> Harsh. I mean, it works. <laughs> but this courtyard area was another big selling point, wasn't it? Yeah. Where we are in this village, not many houses have courtyards, so this was like gold to us and we have so many visions of what we're going to transform this little area into it's only small it does get sunshine in it though so it's a nice little spot just imagine a pizza oven here and all that kind of stuff like some nice moroccan themed seating it's going to be really lovely exactly this is actually south facing and you can see it definitely needs a lick of paint but i'm thinking over here remove this out the way and then have a nice little bench sheet a little pergola a little cover from the sun, a wood burning pizza oven. It's gonna be amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed touring around the village house. It's been amazing to have. It's been a brilliant place for family and friends when they come and visit us. It's a place for them to stay and we've had really good feedback that it's nice and comfortable, which is really nice to hear because it's nowhere near finished. Me and B actually have never spent a night there and we have no desire to do so for us it's just another project that we can do up renovate put our stamp on and then at the right time we will sell it if you guys would like to see an update of what's been done on that project so far let us know in the comments below also if you have any other general questions about the project about the village house let us know in the comments and i'll do my best to answer them Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video where we'll be back on the property getting on with many things.